would you mind telling us the story of Nindiri, Kulam and Majimba? Back in the dream time, there was a beautiful maiden and her name was Maruchi. And she was betrothed to be married to a coastal warrior named Kulam. Nindri was an outcast that came into the area at the time that these two were going to be married, arranged marriage. So we just thought he'd come and kidnap Maruchi, stole her away, uh, Kulam returning, told that he has to go out by his elders, uh, that Nindri was here, he stole your woman, you better go and get him or you're breaking law. And so it's all about law and marriage and betrothed, you know, and they set off in chase, you know, and find, track him. And they found his tracks and then they came up to his camp and he was sleeping. Coolum thought, oh, there's, I can see, I can see Ninjari sleeping. Oh, there's Maruchi tied up. And so he decided, wait till it's dark until the fire dies and then I'll sneak in, free her, and then we'll go and leave in the dark night. No one even know. And then we'll be back home and everyone will be fine and everything happy. Commotion. They woke. Then there was a chase. Ninjari chasing now the two fleeing young lovers. And caught up to him on the beach. And there was a massive duel battle between Coolum and Ninjuri. And Ninjuri being a very, very good warrior. So Coolum didn't beat him. Lost the fight. Head was chopped off. Rolled into the ocean. Became the old woman island. Coolum still there today. Blunt. In our language, Coolum means blunt. Ninjuri turned to stone. Breaking so many laws. So Ninjuri is still there today as the mountain. Maruchi went up into the mountains. And cried for the loss of her love and the loss of respect of her tribe because I had blamed her for the incident. And she cried, the tears forming the Maruchi River. And then when she passed, she turned into the black swan spirit, forever up the spirit, up the river, sorry, looking for Coolum's spirit. <laughs>